world, honey baby. Please. I can't afford to miss my class. So what's the story? He's towing my car. I was only in there for a minute. There was no place to park. No problem. Can't you just let it down for her? Piss off. Listen, numbnuts. This car's not ticketed. In case you didn't know, it's illegal to tow an unticketed car in the state. So, I guess if it's not sitting on off-road wheels in about 10 seconds, you're looking at Grand Theft Auto and tomorrow's cover story. So, so smile. Have a nice day. I'm Sam Nash. Lauren Daly. Thanks a lot. I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> Duffy, you lousy son of a bitch. <laughs> I think you got something 
wrong here. I'm not Duffy. You tell Duffy we're after him, and we're not going to forget this. When we find him, we're going to rip his balls off. <sighs> if we can find them. Bye. They gone? Do you realize you almost got me castrated? What was that all about? Well, I didn't you read my column? Those are the stud baggers. You know, those uh, bimbos the coaches are using to recruit the blue chip jock straps? You mean the ones you called hookers? I uh, merely suggested that they were uh, minor and in solicitation. So, uh, you get the goods on that monkey abuser? Just can't break into his office, Duffy. <sighs> Jesus. You know, Geraldo Rivera would have been up his ass with a flashlight. <laughs> You're hopeless, Nash. Stand by to inject. Five, four, three, two, injector. How long does it take these uh, brain cells to start uh, revitalizing? With the rats, um, psychoplasmic regeneration took about 20 minutes. How much of its lost capacity can it expect to regain? All of it. 100%. Not bad. What do you mean, not bad? No one has ever revitalized a damaged brain cell. No one. You're witnessing the most significant breakthrough in modern medical history. <laughs> <laughs> Robert? Robert, what you doing? What happened? Look at this EEG, Doctor. What's going on? Answer me. What is going on? I don't know. Mr. Oakley, hold up. Listen, I know I'm close. I just need a little more time. Our company's been footing your bills for over two years. It's time to cut our losses. You cannot just pull my funding like this. Can't you see what my work can mean for mankind? All I saw was one pissed off monkey. Don't you drug company hacks care about anything else but pushing pills? Mr. Oakley, please think of the benefits to anyone with brain injury, whether it's an accident victim or people with Alzheimer's disease or alcoholics. We don't fund pie in the sky. We fund results. And I will get, Mr. Oakley, I will get these results. Please give me a few more months. OK. You've got 60 days. Oh, thank you, Mr. Oakley. Thank you. Dr. Etheridge. Hi. Dr. Etheridge, I'm Sam Nash with the Independent Voice. Oh, oh. I'd love to interview you on your oh. research. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Um, Thank you. Thank you. How about next week? Um, I'm, I'm very preoccupied right now. Thank you. 
Thank you. Very I can come by any time. My schedule's pretty open. Thank you. Yes. Um, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> you with something? Oh, sorry. I've just never seen such pretty clothes before. What are you doing in my room? I'm your new roomie. Debbie Gilbert. You're starting a little late in the semester, aren't you? I'll make it up. I'm Lauren Daly. So, what were you, sick or something? Pregnant. I had an abortion. Sorry, I didn't mean to gross you out or anything. I guess I'm just not used to hearing people admit stuff like that. Well, welcome to the real world. Ash, my lad, you're never gonna make it in this racket much of a fucking idealist. You mean I don't make up lies like you? Hey, it's the writer's duty to embellish when the facts are born, right? Uh, you're boiling the butt of the First Amendment. You don't, dude. Yeah, well, if you had any hair on your ass, you'd slip over to that ghoul's lab and catch him humping his monkeys. Humping his monkeys? Well, all right, let's go get him. Excuse me for a second. Fuck off. Now he's cranking out some major mutations, man. I can smell it. They're terminal cynic, Duffy. You only see one color. Shit brown. Uh, well, turd is a turd is a turd, right? I'll drink to that. What's that for? Nations, my lad. Yo! Don Ho! <clears throat> Two more here. <laughs> Two more here. Aren't you afraid of catching some disease? Never been sick a day in my life. Now look, here's what we're gonna do. We'll wait till about one, then uh, sneak on over to the lab, okay? Oh. Oh. Stage <coughs> one. Then uh, I'll rifle through his records, you take a few pictures, then we'll uh, free all the monkeys on the way out. How about that? That's illegal. Yeah, well, so picking your nose in public. <laughs> stage two. <laughs> What's stage three? <laughs> and four. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'll drink to that. I'm not breaking into any place until I've got all the facts. Well, that's how you get the facts, Jacko. No, count me out. Oh, pussy. Well, look, lend me your camera then, okay? Come on. Yeah, yeah, I need that. That's good. Watch this. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Lab surveillance camera checks out. VCR operational. Charlie? Uh, we copy. Put the coffee on. I'm coming back to the 20.
the decor, high-tech Frankenstein. What the hell is that? What you been doing here, Doc? Naughty, naughty, naughty. Treatment, pal? Hey, all right. Now hold still for a sec. That's it. You make a great centerfold for me. Peanuts. Peanuts? Just chill out, will you? You're gonna get some. Hey, all right. Okay, good. Started wrecking the lab. Crashed right through the window. What the hell was this thing? It attacked our car like a mad dog. This was set us back weeks. Who can tell me the total number of sides and diagonals in this hexagon? Now, come on, it was on your homework assignment. Lauren? I don't know. Take a guess. Uh, six? No, that's the number of sides. Kimberly? Um... Twelve? No, but close. Don't you think you've missed enough classes, Debbie, without showing up late? I got mascara in my eye. What a sleaze. Perhaps you can answer this problem that's got your fellow students totally confused. Oh, the hexagon one? Fifteen. Correct. Could you tell us how you arrived at your conclusion? You've got six sides plus the number of diagonals. So you start at any vertex and you draw three diagonals. You do that for all six vertices, but you're counting them twice. So you take half the number of the sides times n to the third power. Very good. <laughs> How do you know all that stuff? My IQ's 184. Oh, God, you don't look... I'm sorry. It's all right. Guys don't make passes at girls with glasses. <laughs> Hey, bud, what's shaking? A new crop of prime freshman titties. We need some fresh party meat. <laughs> There's two candidates. Quick, give me your notebook. You got it, bud. 
Excuse me, lady. I'm conducting a little survey, and I'd like to ask you a few questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, major. Art. Nuclear physics. Good. Very good. And phone numbers. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I see you've met Lovejoy, one of our legendary lovers. Take a hike, Nash. Has he asked you if you wear panties yet? No. He will, right, Joe? And then comes the one about sexual fantasies, right? <laughs> Did I say something wrong? Stay out of my face, punk! What was that all about? He and his buddies throw some interesting bashes. They finger group sex. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'd like you to meet my roommate, Debbie. Debbie, this is Sam, the guy who saved my car. Mm. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. I wish I had a white knight. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to run. Bye. Bye. So is that really true about those frat guys? Don't let the ivy walls fool you. This place is a jungle. So you better watch out. I will. I better walk you to class. Okay. She's been screaming for your call. I'm working on it. Stinks like the Paris sewers in here. Look, you won't clean air, go join a commune. You got my camera? I need to borrow it for a couple more days. Monkey broke out of the psych lab last night. He got splattered by a campus cop car. Wasn't there? You bullshit so much your teeth are brown. Look, I said I wasn't there, okay? Okay. All right. Look, you better clean yourself up and brush your teeth. What for? In case you got a date. I do? Yeah, I fixed you up with a roommate of this girl I like. How many eyes has she got? Trust me, she's more than your hands call for. We're talking shave, shampoo, shower, mm -mm. with soap. And don't forget to change your drawers. I'll pick you up at eight. Etheridge. I know. I'm working on it. It'll take me a couple of weeks to prepare a new monkey. It was an accident, Mr. Oakley. I'm working on it. I have it under control. Yes, sir. Under control. Thank you very much for calling, Mr. Oakley. Yes, sir. I understand. Thank you. Yes? Here's the tape from the surveillance camera. This is 
Dr. Etheridge, you may campus police. Say what? Duffy's a little weird, <laughs> but he's nice. Do you think he likes Debbie? Do worms like tender young apples? <laughs> and um, what about you? Do you like me? I don't know. <laughs> Let me taste you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there I was, hiding in this closet, with 20 humongous jocks looking to stomp me into oatmeal. God, what did you do this time? Well, I uh, lit a fire and set off the sprinkler system, and then I slipped out a window in the back. Wow, that's really smart. I would have never thought of that. Yeah, well, I don't know, I picked up a few tricks along the way. Yeah, gonzo journalism's kind of like, uh, you know, like, uh, eating a lot when you don't have a colon, you know? Meaning what? Means, uh, you never know how it's gonna come out, you know? Hi. 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 You having a good time? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, would you mind if I, uh, excuse myself to the booth? Mind holding my hand? I'd love to. <laughs> Stay here. Be right back. So, what do you think of Debbie? And brainy. But, uh, God, she doesn't look like Einstein, huh? Whoa, easy. <laughs> Just testing your reflexes. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, sure. Uh, no problem. Let's go. Hi. How you doing? What do you say you and me do it? Come on, leave us alone. We're with dates. Who? Us. We're nuts and dorks, Dean? You guys must be hard. Get lost, creep. What do you say I lose my face in your tits? You heard her. <laughs> Beat it. But go or I'll break your face. Yeah? Let him go. Let him go. You dead meat asshole. So, this is where you keep your etchings, huh? This is it. Home sweet home. You're neater than I am. My dad was career army. Rent our house like a boot camp. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look like the military type. I was the black sheep. <laughs> oh, you're here on scholarship? I won a journalism contest from high school. What did you write about? I exposed some companies that were dumping waste near the reservoir. That's great. <laughs> so, have you made up your mind about me yet? Yeah. <laughs> so where is your roommate? Well, he's a gambling nut. Plays cards for days on end. He's never here. Good.
something wrong? Uh, I was just a little worried about Duffy, that's all. Don't worry. Debbie will take good care of him. I'm sure she will. <laughs> <laughs> Al Pacino is one of my favorites. Yeah, I like Al Pacino too. I think one of my favorite scenes is that one in, uh, what is it, what is it? Oh yeah, in Justice for All, you know, where, uh, where he wigs out at that judge he's defending? What does he say? What does he say? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, uh, yeah. That man is a slime! Remember that? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sweating. Why don't we sit down? Yeah. Okay. Are you one of those crusading reporters? Nah. I just like nailing the crooks and the phonies, you know. My dad was a crook. He got caught cheating on real estate deals until some guy shot him. My mom, she's in jail for writing bad checks. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. I'm sorry, I just thought in case it mattered. Well, uh, hell, I mean, uh, my family's crookeder than yours. Yeah, my, uh, parents are doctors. But um boom <laughs> 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 Hold on a sec. You sure you're okay? Yeah, no problem. Must have been something I ate, huh? Never had a guy stand up for me before. Yeah, well, those guys are scrotes. I mean, somebody ought to nuke their frat house. You know, underneath all that bunk and BS, you're really kind of a sweet guy. Yeah, well, tell that up to all the subjects of my column. I mean, I've been burned in effigy more times than the football coach. Sorry about that. <laughs> what? Chris Walcott?
taken on campus for the upcoming bash. The faculty is very concerned about this year's event. And if the antics of last year are repeated, then this year's Halloween ball will be the last. Mr. Vice President, are you referring to the drinking? Yes, I'm referring to the drinking, the drugs, the nudity, and the general lewd behavior that shames our entire university. Any questions? What happened here? A student. He must have been on something. Are you sure it was Frank Duffy? Oh, that's the name he gave at the desk. Thanks. Mm -hmm. to know as soon as we catch this guy. Thank you. Sure, Dr. Dr. Etheridge, can we please talk now? No, not now. You must be losing it, Lovejoy. It ain't that they're bad doctors come you out. Thanks a my moon. It's gonna be kicking your ass. <laughs> Don't sweat it. I got it covered. What are you gonna do, hire bodyguards? <laughs> or maybe get one of those sex change operations? <laughs> Listen, you dildos. I'm gonna have the last laugh. <laughs> Ooh, she's getting pissed. <laughs> you know what the sweetest thing in life is? What? Revenge. I'm going to the library. You want to come? No, thanks. I'm not feeling so hot. You should take it easy. Hang on. There's a lot of flu going around. Yeah. Did Duffy give you that big hickey? Yeah. <laughs> You better put some makeup on it. I'll see you later. Duffy! Hey, Duff, is that you? Duffy.
Anthropology, quick. A campus cop just got murdered. Thanks. Kick some ass! from your monkey. It's not a disease. The monkey had an abnormal reaction to synthetic protein that I'm developing. I need your help to find your friend before it's too late. Why? So you can use him as another guinea pig for your next experiment? Tell it to the cops. Before you place that call, I suggest you remember, I'm the only hope your friend has. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. Here, let me show you something. This is an antigen that I'm developing from a blood sample that I took from the monkey. I just hope that we find a friend before the police do. I got firsts. Yo, 
Who's going first? Wait, wait! Let's all sing her at once. Yeah! We'll turn it into a porcupine, man. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Maestro! <laughs> Little Sam! Yeah! And some lights! Yeah! <laughs> <Play> ball! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 How'd you like dinner? Oh, dinner was wonderful. Good. Isn't that Debbie Gilbert? She's probably stoned. Crazy kids. You, uh, passed my sorority house. <laughs> really? You know, you're doing much better with the tutoring, but you're still behind the rest of the class. Well, I need a C to stay in school. I don't know about that. What will it take for me to get one? A lot of hard work. What was that? Just a raccoon or something. What was that? You stay here. Who's there? I'm warning you, I know Kung Fu! I chased them off. Kimberly? Oh my god! Can I help you? Room number for Sam Nash. Uh, visiting hours are over, I'm sorry. Just a minute, please. 323. Open up, Nash. Hold on! Hey! Police.
What's this? Search warrant. You alone? Yeah. Hey, what's this for? You've got the wrong guy. Nothing there. Where's your pal Duffy? I don't know. Why? Campus cop was murdered, and we think it was him. Duffy a killer? No way. No way. Yeah? He trashed the infirmary today. What kind of dope is he on? None. I swear. This has got to be a mistake. And you better call us if he contacts you. Okay. on the table. Oh, thank you. What are you doing out here? I'm just coming back from the library. Hop on, I'll give you a ride.
Just put me in bed. Duffy! It's me, Sam. It's gonna be all right. Dr. Etheridge will help you. Just come with me. Right? Just follow me, Doc. Just... <laughs> Dr. Etheridge. Duffy's dead. I need to do an autopsy. Where is the body? There's not going to be any autopsy. It's over. Sam, I must do an autopsy. Where is the body? Sam? Telling the crazy bastard not to smoke in bed. He wouldn't listen. Halloween monster stalks campus. H how about demon killer? What do you think, Sam? I just heard about Duffy. I'm really sorry. Is there anything I can do? Look, I'm busy. I didn't mean to bother you. I'm sorry. I haven't told Debbie yet. I'm worried about her. She's got this infected bite on her neck and she won't go to the doctor. How did she get it? From Duffy. Let's go. Let me go in first. Why? What's going on? I can't on? explain it. Just get ready to run. Oh, my God. Sam? On, please tell me. Let's get out of here. You better sit down for this one. Okay. What is it? 
myself. It all happened so fast. Try. See if anyone is outside in the hallway. I have to move her to my bed. No one. Okay, give me a hand. left alone with her now. Think he can help her? Could we be infected? I don't know. I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell someone and you're the one I trust. What is it? I killed Duffy. I shot him and set his place on fire. He already killed a cop and he was going to kill me. I didn't want to. He tried to fight it, but he couldn't. Duffy was right. I'll never be a real reporter. It should have been me instead of him. It was... It was my story, but... Have the guts to get it. Don't say that. You didn't have any choice. Sorry about that.
T-cells are not being produced, tight account is low. The bonds are different. The structure has changed. Debbie? Sorry, dear, but it's too late to save you. However, there's so much I can learn from you. Think of it, Debbie. You could be making major medical history. Future victims worldwide could owe their recoveries to you. Debbie, I envy you. Your life will really count for something. Since you are no longer of sound mind, Debbie, I have made the decision for you. I don't feel so hot. Looks like my leg. <laughs> soon be over. a nightmare. I just want to drop out and go home. It'll be over soon. Debbie will be fine. The tow truck driver was right. About what? It's a red-ass world. That's why I wanted to be a reporter. So maybe I could do something about it. How? I figured that giving people the truth might help the good guys win. I know you're really special. Not special enough to save Debbie. I wish we knew how Debbie is. Let's go call. Ah! <laughs> 
She's dangerous. Sure. I call the zoo. Please. Wherever you're on, don't let me see it. What do we do now? Keep looking. Hey, what are you doing back there? to the light.
Are you okay? It's okay. You all right? Get out of here. 